Welcome to the GSA Annual Scientific Meeting Abstract Submission Site. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to submit your symposium in seven easy steps using our new online submission site, Cadmium CD. To begin, log in at www.geron.org using your GSA username and password. If you've previously been active with GSA, you will have an existing account. If you're unsure, click your Forgot Your Password to see if your email address is in the system. You can also reset your password if needed. Once you've logged in, click the white My Account button and then click Abstract Central. You will be brought to the event information page. You'll find some helpful information on this screen regarding the abstract submission process, including information and instructions for submission, a method for submitting feedback on the submission site, and technical support for in-the-moment assistance during the submission process. Let's get started. Click the green text that says click here to begin a new abstract. First, enter your abstract title. Be sure to make your title follow the title case APA guidelines. Next, select Symposium from the presentation drop-down menu. Then select whether you're submitting a student or professional submission. Once all data is complete, click Continue. Tasks one through seven of the process include typing in information for your abstract's authors, body, and objectives, as well as conflict of interest disclosure statements. Your title and submission choices are listed at the top of the task list page. Click on each task and complete all required fields denoted by a red asterisk. Once completed, a large green check mark will appear next to the task listing. Task one is for the program overview and additional submission requirements. Your title will appear here and you may modify if needed. Select one of four GSA sections or interdisciplinary by selecting your option from the drop down menu. If you select interdisciplinary, you will be required to choose which section you would have picked if this wasn't an option. Next you will need to select one to two session codes. Session codes are key words and phrases used to schedule your symposium. You may also select a secondary session code if applicable. If you select an interdisciplinary, you will be asked to defend why your submission is interdisciplinary in 100 words or less. The final step in this task is the program overview. Overviews are limited to 250 words and should be unstructured. Once completed, click Continue. The second task is Participants. Here, you will add all participants associated with your submission. You may have one chair, one co-chair, one discussant, and up to five individual abstract presenters. You will add co-authors during the next step. Once you've logged in and started an abstract submission from your account, you are unable to change the fact that you will be the person receiving all communications about the abstract. You may delete your name from the participant list and can designate another individual as chair, but you will still receive the communications regarding the abstract as the individual submitting. To add a participant, enter their name and email address, select their role, and click Add Author. Once an author has been added, you can complete their profile by clicking on their name or ask them to do so by clicking on the blue speech bubble. To finalize their profile, you will need to upload the participant's CV. Once their profile is complete, a green check mark will appear next to their name. To remove a participant, click the trash can icon next to the number adjacent to the individual you would like to delete. You may change the order of the participants by using the arrow button next to the author's name. Once you've completed adding all participants to the abstract, click Save Authors. Task 3 is entering information for the individual symposium abstract. If you would like the first author of an abstract to enter the abstract, click the blue speech bubble next to their name and an automatic message will be sent. To enter the abstract yourself, click the author's name. Enter the details of the abstract body and up to seven co-authors following the exact format listed. Up to seven co-authors can be added by entering their name, degree, affiliation, city, state, country, and email. 
all fields are required for each co-author in the exact format indicated. Once all co-authors have been added, click Continue. This will save your changes and bring you back to the task list page. Task 4 asks you to enter the learning objectives of your abstract. At the top of the page, there is a link that opens a window with some helpful tips for effectively writing learning objectives. At least two learning objectives are required. The user is also permitted to submit a third learning objective. After learning objectives have been inputted, click Continue to save your changes and return to the task list page. Next up is task 5, where you will submit additional information about your submission, including applicable themes and interest groups, publication acknowledgement, and how did you hear about us. After answering these questions to the best of your ability, click Continue to save changes and return to the task list page. Task 6 is the Conflict of Interest Disclosure page. All participants are required to submit a Conflict of Interest Disclosure. You can do this on behalf of all authors in your submission, or you can send them a message requesting they complete the form by clicking on the blue speech bubble next to the participant's name. You may also do this on their behalf by clicking the participant's name. You will then need to answer two questions and digitally sign the form. The form will not be officially registered until you click Complete Form. The final step, task seven, is payment for submission. The top of this page outlines the pricing scheme and GSA's non-refundable policy regarding submission fees. Once all payment information is entered, click Submit Payment. Once this is done, your abstract will be submitted. Please review carefully as edits cannot be made after the submission deadline. Payment can be made using your credit card. We accept Discover, Visa, MasterCard, and American Express. You will not be able to advance through the payment step if any of the previous tasks are missing the green check mark on the top of their menu icon. Turn to receipt, log in at www.geron.org. Click the My Account button on the top right of the page and select Abstract Central. You will see all of your submitted abstracts listed below the event information. Beneath each abstract listing are the options to preview your submission, resend confirmation email, and view your receipt. Forgot something? You may edit your abstract submission until the submission deadline, which is March 15th. After that date, you are unable to edit your abstract. To edit your abstract, log in to the abstract submission site. Your submitted abstract will appear under Abstracts. To edit your submission, click the title. This will redirect you to the task list page where you can update your information. You will not be required to resubmit payment. Thank you for submitting your abstract for the GSA Annual Scientific Meeting. We are excited to review your submission. Notifications will be emailed to the primary author regarding the status of your submission this summer. For more information about the GSA Annual Scientific Meeting, including how to register and pay for the event, or to learn more about the program agenda, please visit www.geron.org.